Captain, our objective has always been to disrupt the word of Blake and disable the orbital guns. This mission is going to be hard, but you're tough enough, right? Weren't you just telling me that last night, cowboy? <clears throat> Sirs, the job is this. Sink the barges and any patrol boats guarding them before they make it out to sea. They're carrying parts for the orbital guns, so this is critical. The problem is going to be the terrain. Water's going to slow you down, so keep an eye out for shortcuts over dry land. Now this whole planet is in enemy territory, so watch out for other enemies besides those patrol boats. Get to it, mech warrior. Time to get wet. Uh, alt tabbing real quick to get the cursor on the screen. I know that causes OBS to go blind. Anyway, sailing away. Um, introduction to the Belial, my favorite mech. Mech salt. I'm going to try not to overuse this going later into the campaign, but. I'm reading the convoy directly ahead. You should have visual. Get them! Don't fall too far behind! I actually don't use the Belial all that much in. in campaign, because in this sort of total warfare scenario where you're dealing with more than just X, the Belial is a bit over here. Although, it actually might be a lot better now because it has uh, twin pulse lasers instead of a single pulse laser, which actually is good against things like tanks. But I want to show you something goofy we can do. Actually, no. I'm going to go through this mission once in the Belial. But because this mission is so short, I'm going to go back through and play it again with Puma. For this mission specifically, because it's really short. And then I'm going to... On that second playthrough, I'm going to show you a really goofy strategy you can do. It doesn't really save you any time, anything or make it any easier. But fun to, funny to watch. So, Captain, ever get the feeling these people don't like you? sunk. Excellent. No new orbital guns. Okay, now we move the Icarus and press our attack. Captain, we're on the move as soon as you get back. I think this is a cutscene, so I'm gonna... What is this? That's Alpha Lance. Where are they? Quiet! Mercenary, watch your infidel brethren. Watch and learn. Alpha Lance, this is Alpha Okay, I'm going to handle this brief. Okay, so I'm going to please Captain, please. our objective has always been I'm reading the convoy directly ahead. You should have visual. Get them! Don't fall too far behind. I'm gonna leave these boats. Rushing forward, not killing any of the things. You'll see why in a moment. So, Captain, ever get the feeling these people don't like you? I think I mentioned. Uh, 
I don't think I need to re-mention it, but, um, Kid Fox, uh, destroyed the I didn't quite get the first one, but now all of these boats will dog me, unless I kill myself. Um, the, all, if you destroy that thing and make that bridge collapse, it'll cause all of the boats behind it to dog pile behind that bridge. It's kind of funny to watch, actually. I'm reading the convoy directly ahead. You should have it'll also give you... Get them! Don't fall too far behind! Since it takes the time pressure off, it'll also allow me to show you the rest of this map, which I think this map is actually rather interesting in science. In general, these, like, coastal areas are actually very visually appealing. I like them. I wish you could spend more time with these areas in the Instead of going for the last half of the game, going to waste uh, then for the other portion, going to the snow area. I think the. I don't think it. I, my opinion on Wasteland is a lot like that in Halo, where I don't think it absolutely ruins the game the way some people do, but I do agree that it's not as visual, not nearly as visually appealing as. So, Captain, ever get the feeling these people don't um, like you? As the early coastal cities and stuff. You, these areas are actually really nice uh, art. Let's destroy that and let's uh, actually pay attention to the health this time and let's pay attention to the things. But we had a funny story with the rebounds. We have gone back and forth with the amps. Um, we had so much PTSD from hammers uh, in earlier build, uh, or in vanilla mech one, that we thought it was uh, suitable to completely nerf them all. And they were so nerfed that they just could not eat it. We actually had to bring them back up to the door. Uh, our whole goal of this mod, ironically enough, was to make hammers more viable. And we ended up in a position where everything else was so viable that it, uh, that the hammers are, that we had to bring the hammers back up to their form of, quote unquote, OP glory uh, to make them actually eh, competitive in the modern meta. So, interesting little bit of, we have the same, almost the same thing happened with the, uh, in reverse with Hellbringer. In early builds, the, the Hellbringer in Vanilla Mech 1 is DLC, and it is pretty much useless. So, but we had so much of a determination to get, uh, to get the Hellbringer to be actually useful that we made it old, insanity. And thankfully that It's been a process. It certainly has. They are not professional games. Never claim that it. it's certainly been. Wow, that was cool. Okay, so now that everything is all backed up by that other bridge, we can explore this little area, which was another place that. This was a place that I thought was kind of useless um, for multiplayer when Big Talk Night was free, but I looked at it after and I actually thought it was a rather interesting place that we could make a potential multiplayer map. I'll discuss that on one of our future streams, but anyway. Something that I didn't notice existed for a long time because I just did this mission, destroyed all the boats and all that, but there's actually a second little city way over here at the far end. This is the second outlet. There's this little small city in it that's... I don't know, it's cool. They have like a water treatment plant on the other side of it. These electrical little substations. And there's a Puma, or Uzeal, there.
over here, like I said, you have this kind of water treatment plant, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what it is. Helipad, and then you have one of those big factory buildings that, for some reason, is way, way stronger than it really should be. Yeah, it. Anyway, just a little note that uh, I haven't seen in a lot of places. This little back area. Because usually by this point, if the boats, it, it, it's really hard to have the boats get to this point, but even if you are to this point with the boats, they're so close to the end that you're really focusing on the uh, and completing the mission. So, something that can easily be overlooked. But I, I appreciate the detail. This is one of those, just like Black Mesa, where it's the little subtle details that you see in this world that are not always obvious, and it really makes me. I don't know what the right word would be, but definitely not envy, but appreciate the game designers way back in 2001, 2002, the buildings. And here you see the massive traffic jam of boats <laughs> that forms behind this bridge. It's like so funny to see all these boats <laughs> pile up behind it, but anyway. I have level 3 machine guns, I can just destroy it and destroy them all and it's level. Same as the city, it's interesting to see all these boats. We don't really see, I don't think we see these at all again. But we see the small ones. Excellent. No new orbital. So, on to the next part. Uh, Catnap. One of the most, what I would say is one of my favorite environments of all of the, not favorite levels, but one of my favorite environments of this entire game. 